Welcome to our midweek service. For this week, we have a fun game planned. It is called What is in the Box? So we have three contestants. We have Nena as our first person guessing what is in the box. Then we have James and Jesse as the accomplices. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, James and Jesse. <laughs> Accomplice. Are you trying to just make this sound more and more scarier? Yeah. Okay. We have no idea what's actually been chosen for the boxes, so it's going to be a fun time. I'm full. Pretty simple. Nena's going to put her head down. We're going to put the first item in the box. She will put her hand into the box, feel it, and she needs to try to guess. You have to hold it. Look, look I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> You have to try to guess what is in there in about 10 seconds. There's a timer here. No, this sounds horrible. It's so loud, though. No timer. <laughs> no timer. No. <laughs> All right, it's like that a microwave. <laughs> so but if you want to use the timer at home, if you ever have this I game, I feel like we should do a 60, 60 second timer or a 30 second. A minute? Seconds. 30 seconds. 30, 30 seconds. seconds. No more. No Give more budget. Give me some time. Give me All right. Put, okay. Put okay. your head okay. down. <laughs> Our first item. I'm not gonna say what it is. Oh my oh, goodness. No. <gasps> why do we? Put is them that in, allowed? Why do we put them in charge of this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, That's crazy. Nana, it's in there. <laughs> yeah, I can look. Yep. Well, you can't look, but you can pretend. I'll it. help. <laughs> Good luck. Why do I do this? I'm glad I'm not going right now. I don't want to. I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, it kept it got out. <laughs> How did it move? Okay, it's squishy. <gasps> Is that oh. a balloon? Yes! yes! Oh. So, Nana gets a point. <laughs> All right, so. I feel so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll go next. This is... We hyped you up. All right, I'm All ready. Right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even see it. Like, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I can't even describe it. Just kidding. Okay, it's in the box. Where am I? All right, I'm ready. I'm not even going to open my eyes. Just don't move it. The box. I'm not even going to do two hands. Or, I mean, you could if it's your own hands. There Ooh. You How are you touching So, describe it? It's squishy ish. Squishy ish. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what that's in the. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's not an egg. <laughs> it's a tangerine. Tangerine. <laughs> Wrong. It's a lime. Wait, how many? Lime. How many? How many guesses are we going to give them? We get Ew. to decide. <laughs> it has to be one guess, right? Who said this? We didn't say anything, so. It's a lime. Is that a lime? It's a lime. Yeah, it is a lime. Yes! Is you a get lime. a half a point. I get to keep it. <laughs> Why? Did you believe me when I was That's like, ew? No. Did you believe me? I think those no. are coming later. All right, Ooh. Jesse. Alrighty. And for Jesse, we have. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Like, that's crazy. It's very creative. I'm glad I didn't do this game. Yeah, me either. I would have chosen materials. <laughs> yeah, these are so cool. Am I right, ready? Jess, you're okay, ready. Go ahead, Jesse. I'll hold it. You don't need both hands, actually. One is pretty good. One is fine, but it's okay. Goggles. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you get to keep them. There you go. That is. All right. Back to Nena. Maybe oh. I'm just a scaredy cat here. I think they're going <laughs> easy on us. I think they started with easy things. I think it's going to get harder as it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wear them. I like it. Nice I twist. Like you have to wear them. somehow the item. Oh my goodness. Just put some of it. Oh, you. Oh. La 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 la. Oh. Can Ready? Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. It's moving. No, I'm just Stop. It's not moving. All right. So, what it is, you're going to have to actually like. If you're using both hands, experiment you can experiment with it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> experiment? Yeah. If Don't you need worry. to. I am fear well, nothing. Shown, no more hints. She's never going to figure it out. No more table talk. <laughs> table talk. <laughs> well. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, it's hairspray. Uh, no. Close, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's It's, it's foamy. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving cream. It's, That's yeah. My hands. Wow. You get to keep it. Oh, I don't. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I use. Oh, I don't shave my face, <laughs> but thanks. Okay, I'll take it. Sensitive skin. That's me. <laughs> Thick and rich shaving cream. <laughs> All right, I'm ready, but that's your point. Technically, we I'm sure we can find <laughs> a napkin somewhere. <laughs> There's a one on the table. Oh All my! Right. <gasps> wow. Is it actually bad, or are you guys just saying that? Oh my goodness! Oh my! Thank gosh. you for the napkin. Okay, get ready. Get set, go. 
Oh! It's like whipped cream. <laughs> Wait a minute, he jumped when he touched it. Well, because it was furry. Is it furry? What else is it? Is it squishy? I've done bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is the most terrifying sound it's ever. It's a baby toy. <laughs> It's a baby toy. Yeah, it's Wes's baby toy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good? I feel like yes. that's close enough. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Wes Fulkerson used this when he was a child. Yes. That's exactly my, what My happened. second point. There we go. Okay. Um, Alright. Oh. This uh, shaving cube smells good though. It does. Here. Oh, thank you. Put some more on. Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I'm not paying. <laughs> I'm not paying. I'm not paying. Yo, Ugh, ew. I don't like that. Why did you do that? Okay. You guys are lying. It'll be fun. Am I ready? Yeah. Um, maybe. Am I? Yes. <laughs> I like that you're wearing your little. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it. Well, just do it. Nike, just do it. What? Ew. <laughs> I thought she just licked it. <laughs> it's a beanie. Oh, wow. It is a beanie. All right, you get to wear it. What it's color, a beanie. What color is the beanie? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like blue. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it is blue! And it has something on it. It has, I'm getting bonus points here. A mustache or wings? Nope. All right, take it out. A mustache? Oh, you get to wear it, though. It's chargers. I love Wait. this. This All is right, like... I'm not back to you. <laughs> I still have shaving cream on my hands. Here, let's use it like lotion. Yeah. Lotion. Okay, but it's not gonna kill oh, us. Always moisturize. There we go. <laughs> well, my arm is moisturized. Keep your eyes closed. They are closed. Oh, they're creative. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't trust anything. That is slightly That's terrifying. Creative, nonetheless. Ready? All right. Get set. Go for it. Go. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> I'm very good at scaring Nana. Hmm. Any thoughts? Describe what you feel right now. It's like there's parts of it that are like glossy leather, mm. and I want to say a Mexican wrestling mask. <laughs> Is that it? How? Yo, because I'm Mexican. Sure. <laughs> I know this. Every time in the border, you always got to pick one. Okay, up. look. I grew up with <laughs> oh, a Mexican wait. lady. My stepmom, love fine. her. And I didn't know what that was. Dude. No. Have you yeah, used my, one? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, whenever we went through the border, we always got masks. Always. Consistently. I don't know what to think of that. Okay, James. Is <laughs> Close your flipping oh, eyes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, go. <laughs> oh, didn't work. Ah, oh. Easter egg. A mini Easter egg. Is there something in it? It is a mini Easter egg. But what color is it? <laughs> oh, I lost it completely. What color does it feel like? Green. No. <laughs> Wait, what color was it? When in doubt, it's always blue. It is blue? Yep. Oh, it is blue. Oh, That's cool. Well. Good job. It's glossy. You failed. I feel I like. I got a point, though. That is true. Okay. I'm ready. I want something else that I can wear, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> She's never gonna guess it, I can tell you that much. What? I don't even know what that is. Oh my, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> this may be too big for the box. Okay, I'll stick my hands through there and keep my head down if it is. Uh, okay. Am I what ready? You even, do you have that at, just lying around at home? Is it ready? <laughs> is it like a thing? <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> so describe what's a bone feel. of something. A bone. A bone. A skull? No. Oh, wait, no, it's metal. Steak I just had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know, but you're never gonna guess it. I don't even know how to describe Metal it. Metal is good. It's a good start. <laughs> do, 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 do. You gotta guess it. I don't even know. Ten seconds. No, no, no. no. Oh, we yeah, did say we have a timer. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Ten. Ten. What is it? Nine. Is it for a car? Eight. Oh, Seven. I peaked, but I only saw the metal that Six. I already said. Five. I don't know what it is. A piece. A, uh, an Two, anchor. One. Something metal. <laughs> Cast iron. It's a Donkey Cut? Don Quixote. Oh my it's gosh. A, what is it called? His name is Don Quixote. This thing is so heavy. How do you know? Fun is that fact, like. In fact, he actually has uh, discovered Spain somehow. Something you rather like. I don't know what oh, it is. Oh, really? Exactly, but yeah, we actually went. This is me. 
Pops modeled after it's me. <laughs> anyway, so Jesse doesn't get that point. No, and I cannot wear that. That's one of the heaviest things I ever. You, you come. I thought the box was bigger. Would you guys mind setting the box down for the last thing? Sure. Yeah, and I'll just um, close my eyes. All three of you guys probably can close your eyes. You can do it at the same time. Ooh, okay. 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 I'm definitely like. <laughs> Sorry, something right, right there. No cheating. All right. <sighs> Wait. Keep those eyes closed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is hard. Oh no. I'm yeah, putting on my goggles. From the outside. Oh wow, guys. this be like the nativity scene? I'm not having fun. <laughs> yes, you are. I, I mean, I, I guess so. Whose turn is it technically? Because they should start. Well, no, we're all doing it. Is it, it no, it was my turn to start. <laughs> 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 what do oh, no, 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 All right, guys. Well, that was uh, intense. I'm sorry. I had to step away and take a moment because, I don't know, I was highly afraid of the chicken. That was terrifying. Um, but that was great. We're going to go into our uh, message time. For today, we have a little bit of a different um, take of the message. We're going to be doing a Q&A with James and Jesse, um, and a bunch of the kids sent in questions that we will be answering live on the camera. So here we go. All right, guys, welcome to our message for this week. It's a little different. What we're doing is a little bit of a Q&A time with Pastor James and Jesse. Uh, we wanted to just give you a little bit of ourselves as we haven't been able to meet many of you guys uh, face to face that well. We wanted to give you a little bit of a background about ourselves. Yeah. Um, so quick, real quick about me. I think most of you guys know Jesse pretty well, but I was born and raised in Spain. So my whole life I lived in Spain until I came to America. Um, so that's why I speak Spanish. Uh, my parents are British, so that's why I speak British. Um, so at home, we only spoke English. Outside of the house, I only spoke Spanish. And I've been in America for 10 years now, 11 years now. So yeah, that's a little bit about myself. I served in, in Metro at New York City with Pastor Bill Wilson. That's where I met Jesse. That's right. Fun fact, I was his intern mm. a little nine years ago. Yeah. And we were just really good friends ever since. And then through, you know, God's voice explaining, uh, uh, guiding us, we're here now. And we are so excited to be a part of the Foothills family once again for Jesse. Yep. So we're going to roll our questions. Yep. And this is question number one. Um, why? How do you hear God's voice? Why do you talk a different language? Done. So I will just say that. One of the ways I really hear God's voice, it says it in the Bible, God speaks in a still, small voice. I really relate to that. It's, it's sometimes just like a little thought in my head, but it's very clear. Um, and I know that that's God speaking. Or it's a feeling in my heart, in my spirit, or in my gut that I just know that's what God is, is telling me. And it gives me peace. And yeah, so that's how I hear it. Yeah, for me, when I'm reading my Bible um, in the mornings or whenever I'm reading it and I'm trying to figure out something in life specific, then I'll ask God specifically for him to speak through, through his Bible to me. And then the, I'll be reading and something specific will be highlighted or a verse will be um, put into my spirit where I'll go specifically to that verse and read it. And that's something that really helps me to navigate what, uh, what God's trying to speak to me. That's a really good question. That is very oh. good. So good job, Grace. But she also asked, why do you speak differently? Yeah, which we, you we answered explained it of. a little bit earlier, but yeah, it was, I spoke English at home with my parents. So both of my parents are British, spoke Spanish in school, and now I've been here. So it's a big old mix. And some of you parents think I'm South African, but I am not. <laughs> Sorry. All right, All question right. number two. James and Jesse, are you scared of them, anything? Are we scared of anything? I'm not very, I'm okay. I'm afraid. I, <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything specific, but I'm quite easily scared. So if you Boo. turn a corner and scare me, I will jump. Um, and I, I'm, ah. I'm, I'm, no, <laughs> it's not going to work when you're right here. I'm afraid of the unknown. Wait, the chicken. Think, the chicken yeah, is a great exactly. example. I think everyone is af afraid of chicken. 
Yeah, it's a great example. <laughs> um, I'm afraid of things that I don't know what's happening. But apart from that, like I'm not afraid of animals or anything like that. I would say at some point in my life, I was very scared of dying. Well. But then when I became a Christian, actually, that really changed. I was also throughout my life scared of different random things I couldn't control. But when I became a Christian, that changed. And one thing I am really scared of, and I, <laughs> this has helped me decide things in life, I'm really scared of not continuously growing closer to God. I know that sounds super cheesy, but it's true. Like, like I, I'm just terrified of that. If I'm ever at a place where I'm not growing closer to God or engaging with God, or it terrifies me. I never want to be in that place in life. It, it helps me make my decisions. That's good. Yeah. All right. All right. Question number three. Hi, it's Savani. What's your favorite Old Testament book and why? Bye. See you later. Well, Eleni, what her. is my favorite Old Testament book? I'm probably going to have to say Genesis, just because it's super exciting. I love to see how creation happened. And, I mean, a lot more has happened in the book of Genesis. But I just like how it's kind of like a story. And I enjoy reading stories and, and being engaged. And not that the, the whole Bible is engaging. There's, but Genesis is a little bit more engaging than... Deuteronomy or <laughs> Exodus. But uh, yeah, so that's my favorite book. This is hard. I would say, I'm thinking of it like this. If I had to only pick one of them to, to read with me the rest of my life on an island, stranded away from everything, it would be Proverbs. Because it's just very instructionary mm. to life and it helps you figure out life. And I love that. <laughs> cool. All right, so question number four. Hi, Jesse. I would like to ask you a question. What do you do in your spare time? <laughs> what do I do? I play with my dog, Roxy. We, have, we almost brought her today, but we couldn't do it. We couldn't. I play and cuddle with her a lot. Um, we love to play board games. We love to play board games. I like to scare James. I like to eat. I know you <laughs> didn't really ask me. You asked Jesse. Yeah, why are me, you? <laughs> I like to eat. Um, what else do I like to do? Yeah, I mean, that pretty much takes up most of my my spare time. She likes to daydream about mm -hmm. the future. Oh, my goodness. I love to do that. Yes, I love to dream. And I'm quite creative. So, and I mean that in the sense of like my mind. So I'm always looking at things, figuring out new stuff we can buy for our house. <laughs> That's what I like to do. All right, question number five. Do you have any pet peeves? Do you have any pet peeves? I have many, 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 many pet peeves. I don't because know why. you're a very structured, organized very, person. Yeah, I like everything organized. I don't like it when, like, if we're going to church, which we haven't been to church to the building on, on a Sunday morning, for example, for a long time. But if, if we have to be there at 11, then I, I want to be there at 10.45. I don't want to be there at 11.05. And then, like... If we say, okay, we're going to leave at 10, but we're leaving at 10.30, it's a pet peeve. I I'm just like, why? Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. Uh, what are you my pet peeves? You can tell it's a pet peeve, right? Because I'm like, frustrated. <sighs> Take a breath. My pet peeves, uh, there are probably so many of them, but I'm just thinking right now. I love to be clearly spoken to. If there is something that we're planning to do, I want to... I wanna understand it right so i want to be told every part of it that's my thing cool i if it's a lack of communication or if i'm not sure what i'm doing i'm i get a little like okay take a breath no <laughs> but that's one of my pet peeves question number six and here's my question for you james and jesse what's your favorite way to encourage people during this time and why bye that was a really good question one thing i would say is during this time there's so much uncertainty just put all that in Jesus' hands. Just pray. Ask him to help you have peace. Any fear, any frustration, any arguments you get mad at your brother and sister, just go to Jesus. Pray. Ask him to be with you and help you. Ask him to forgive you if you said something mean. I think that's the best any of us can do. I'm a little bit more practical. I like to look <laughs> for actual like things. So, like for example, around the house, if, if something's been done, you know, exceptionally oh. well, then I'll highlight that. I'll be like, well, you did such a great job at whatever, making the bed, for example. Then I like to highlight those little things. So that's a, a good way to encourage other people. All right. I get it. We both understood that 
different, but great. Okay, question number seven. Hey, James, what are you allergic to? What He's I'm, allergic to compliments. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very good at taking compliments. I'm not physically allergic to anything, I don't think. I did have one allergic reaction once. Oh, my gosh. When Can I'm we? Gonna, s- no, we haven't got time for the whole story, but I almost died once from an allergic reaction. Something In Indonesia. Jesse was on a mission trip with me in Indonesia, and she had to save my life, and she didn't really do anything other than watch me. It didn't Almost come. Died, it didn't come to that point. But I would have had to stick a pen in his throat and breathe for him. Yeah. But so I, didn't. I don't know what I'm allergic to. Something, but I don't know what. What are you allergic to? I'm allergic to ragweed pollen, and I think tree pollen. So I get seasonal allergies, and um, that's it. Good question, though. All right, question number eight. Hi, Pastor James and Jesse. My question for you is, if you were able to go on a trip, where would you go and what would you do on your trip? Bye. It's a great question, Drake. Um, If I could go on a trip, I would probably go to Australia. I've always Mm. wanted to go to Australia um, just because... I want to see a kangaroo one day and a koala bear and all these things. And your friend. And I have friends over there as well. And it's, you know, it's a British, what well, used to be a British colony. So I want to go see my peoples. What would I do there? I would see probably your people. see people, travel a lot, eat food. And uh, I would love to go scuba diving, snorkeling. I love that kind of stuff. If I could go on a trip anywhere. I've been a few places. Maybe we should say that. We have been on trips. We've been to India, Indonesia. Spain, London. Spain, London. I've been to Germany, Switzerland, France, Mexico. So if I were to go anywhere at this point, it would be to Spain to visit family mm. or, or back to London to visit some of our friends there. Yep. All right, question number nine. Mr. James, who's stronger, you or Mike Van Meter? <sighs> Mike Van Meter. Me, uh-huh. <laughs> you think you're stronger than Mike Van Meter. Maybe you are, I don't Mike know. Mike Van Meter, <laughs> if you are watching this, we should put this to the test. I think he... I don't know what to say. Are you or Mike? I don't know. We need to test it. I'm sorry. Mike, Mike, I think Mike's probably stronger, but for the video, it looks like me. James is stronger. Yeah. Prove us wrong, Mike. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. So that is it for this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A. Yeah. And the fun game that we did. And make sure you tune in next week. God bless you guys.